hello beautiful people in the world welcome to my channel today so guys i hope you all are doing well i pray so by the grace of god in heaven to guide and protect us all by the name of jesus christ our lord so guys today i'm bringing to you how to diy organic body uh uh, lotion to enhance your skin to to brighten and beautify your skin you know that good cool that good and cool looking uh you know juicing and you know beautiful skin most especially in the summer to make it come brighter and you know shine don't worry guys it's not going to bleach you it's just going to brighten out your skin you know to give your skin that natural vitamin that shyness that when you are under the sun even now in the winter it will help you know we know carrot oil contain high vitamins that you cannot you know name them so that is why i've come to bring to you guys a cream that you you can use for your skin to help your skin you know to have those good look you know guys what i mean so you will be needing a uh, carrot juice for it if you have if you can buy carrot juice, but I, would, I would prefer you do yours at home you know just squeeze out carrot juice either with your blender any form you want to just squeeze it out then if you have a uh, carrot oil you, you are good to go so this is how you first start the base of liquid now guys because i don't have carrot oil so i am going to prepare as well my carrot oil in the same process you no know, the same day uh that i'm doing this video so if you have carrot oil you're just good to go to the next stage after this so first i add uh my olive oil and now i'm adding my coconut oil why because uh these oils are most good when you want to do body uh, cream body lotion it in a bad body because they help to uh, treat our skin from dryness so after that you guys know how i prepare my carrot oil you know so that's it now guys um, um i've put off my flame allow the carrot oil to you know cool a little bit so this is my juice this is my carrot juice guys so you will be needing 100 milliliters if you want to do huge amount but first guys i will advise you to go gradually grad test it out with little quantity not that huge quantity so after that i'll be adding my rose distilled water which i did some time ago i use uh, some part because i found that this is going a little bit you know uh, it's, it's going to expire very soon so i just thought of using to do this product so that it will not expire so I, everything is 100 and mini, uh, 150 milliliter so now i'm going to prepare my uh collagen powder with my glycerin there is no amount of there's no quantity that that is that will be needed in the glycerin it's just uh, that's important it covers the whole powder to allow it to come that liquid you know creamy just as you are seeing it guys just allow it to come if you are doing it if you are mixing it's not creamy you need to add more glycerin to it to make it come that fluid which will help the the collagen powder to you know um be easier when you add it to your water because collagen powder tend to have lumps if you don't uh, mix well so that is why i will advise you mix it first with your glycerin to just uh at least help to come easier when you are when you add it to your water or your liquid anything so at this point i've added it as you can see there's no issue of lump so it's very easy to mix out so after that guys i will start to add uh, my salicylic acid my b panthenol uh, the grams are there then i'll add my uh, potassium sorbate i'll add my uh, sodium bezoate which you guys know they are preservative that goes into the water first so i also add one spoon of my aloe vera gel which i did some time ago guys if you will be following me in product you will, you will need to have uh, aloe vera gel at home or yeah aloe vera gel you preserve it at least it lasts three months okay which in case you want to prepare it because aloe vera uh, gel is very important in any product that you do so i'm also going to add my uh, sulfate guys don't worry about if you don't like it don't add it i'm adding because if you have skin problem you need it for a, at least for bacteria 
so now guys i also add just a half teaspoon of his santa gum because santa gum helps to you know uh minimize uh the mixture and to help to thicken your product you know to help to uh, that's to stand it well on your skin So I'm also adding my rice oil 25 milliliter, then my grape seed oil 25 milliliter as well because these oils they are good to our skin. Then we also add some coca uh, cacao uh, butter 20 milliliter. So you just like a 20 20 uh, gram of uh, cacao butter. So just to help to thicken it out and also for deep moisture. So this is my emulsifying one. I'm adding um three quarter i'm adding three quarter of uh, my emulsifying wax then now i'm going to add my carrot oil 150 milli uh liter of my carrot oil to the other oil and my e-wax which i've already added to my bacon so now i've met it out in my double heat boiler i'm going to incorporate both liquid and the oil oils together and uh you know mix it blend it to you know to emulsify both liquid and uh, the oils together and then you can have your lotion so guys i've been using this lotion for over one month now because this video i didn't do it today but i'm just uh editing it today because i've tried it out guys i love the cream it's very very moisturizing guys very moisturizing because before i even realized this cream i have to also do a little quantity so now we are going to test for the temperature before you add every other ingredient your preservative and all so it has to be at least 50 uh degree i don't know how it is in fahrenheit guys i um, i don't know how it uh how many how many it is in fahrenheit but in degree it has to be 50 degree before you start to add every other thing because at least it still need to be that warm for the preservative to act well and for every other things to also combine uh well together to this product to make it look you know very very quality so as you can see it's a uh, 49.23 uh, degree so now after that i'm going to add my citric acid which is very good to exfoliate your skin to clear your skin because citric acid is known as a clarifying you can to you know exfoliate to clarify to do so many things so now i'm adding all other ingredients as you can add in in cold way my vitamin e my silk protein uh so on and so forth guys there is no quantity of so many things i'm adding you can add as you feel as you like because if as you can watch as you can see i'm not uh measuring any ones that are important i wrote the measurement but these ones they are important as well but you can add any quantity you feel like for your own upgrading you know if you want to upgrade to become those quality creams that you spend a lot of money to buy this is how you can do it okay so i'm adding all my uh extract now i'm adding my tea tree oil for antibacterial because you are all going to use these things on your skin, you know. So you need to, you know, enhance it and upgrade it. So I'll be using this. I love it so much, guys. I love it so much. I know it's hard for me at times to reveal some secret to you guys. But at times I just say, what for? So at least they deserve it. So guys, this is it. After every ingredient, my preservative and all. So we are going to do the final mixture by mixing mixing it very well so now i'm adding my fragrance because uh guys this is body cream at least when you use it on your skin you need to have a good you know good scent so i add the fragrance i prefer you can add any fragrance you like so as you can see this cream all it just go you know it vanish quick don't worry and this is the first day after some time that you use it you are going to see so I've been loving this cream anyway. I've been loving this cream, guys. I'm not saying it because uh, I prepared. If I have to waste all these things, maybe after doing, I have to waste it. It's a waste of money and that is a sin too. So I've been loving. If you can see my skin is changing. It's helping my skin to brighten out. It's not bleaching. You, as you guys can see, I didn't add even, I didn't have, add um, Kojic, um, 
uh, acid to it. Some people they add kojic acid to you know brighten more, but I just did everything just natural the way it is. So I hope you love this video, guys. So if you do, for those of you that are new to my channel, that just click to the that just click for the first time, please kindly subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the bell in case of any notification for new video. Share this video, like this video. Thank you all for supporting me. God bless you. Bye bye. Oops.